Uh, I'm I w- holding together surprisingly well. <laughs> Normally at this point, I would have exploded by now. I-, I will take this moment to say that I am very honored that I am the host of these fa- these very respected guests that I look up to. Where are they? It's you. <laughs> it's you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Rain World Trivia Show Light. Why is it called light? Is because it's made to be more accessible than the previous ones, as feedback suggested that the previous one was, and I quote, too unhinged. I am the host, my name is Sigma, I do YouTube mainly for Rain World at the moment, and I do some funny stuff, and I guess I do the Rain World trivia show every so often. I don't know how much the trivia can keep up, there's only so much trivia that I can do. But uh, we'll see how this goes. And shout out to my friend Earfuls that he helped proofread and make some of the questions and he helped generally all around on the show to make it possible. And let's get into the introductions. Das, as the, as the winner of the previous trivia show, uh, make yourself introduced. Uh, yo, what's up? I'm Das, called by uh, literally everybody as Mr. Rainworld. That's, that's my official name. I changed my last name to Rainworld. Uh, on the, I did it. Uh, the the birth certificate reveal stream is coming up eventually. Oh to shit! Prove that. But yeah, I I make a I make content uh, for all the several sorts of things. About sixty percent of them are Rain World at the moment. Uh, and I've made I've covered basically every single topic at least in the base game. So if you want to binge shit, I got lots of shit to be binged. Alrighty. Opsian, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm an anarchist. Oh. Yes. Oh. All right. Stuck for that. <laughs> All right, Base. Scurry. Introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Scurry. I have played Rain World a decent amount. I just kind of make videos on a bunch of whatever games I feel like playing. Uh, mostly like Hollow Knight and Rain World, so. I might know some things, I don't know. <laughs> and Norflo, but last but not least, introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Norflo, and I make animations about Rain World and videos where I talk about my animations. I also dabble in other stuff like art, fanfics, comics recently. I share theories and game footage on some platforms. As you can probably tell, I am very normal about this game. Very normal? <laughs> yes. Uh, would you like to tell the audience about your little slug cat OC? Yeah, uh, it's literally just, if you can see my profile picture there, that was drawn by my sister, by the way, my little sister. Uh, it's that, but it's, but it's a slug cat. That's all I have. <laughs> oh, that's so wholesome. And already, let's get down into business. Here is the table of contents. Each person from left to right, so DOS into Opsian, into Scurry, into Northflow, will pick a question, and if they get it right, they get those points. If they get it wrong, the person on the right will have a chance to answer and repeat for until everyone has attempted, and if no one gets it, then no one gets the points. Thus, pick any question from any category. Uh, because I'm the big cheese, I'm gonna go for Trivia 800. Start All right. Off. Trivia 800. Name five of the ten environmental hazards that you can die to. So starting things off, um, I'm presuming that the that that the death pits count. So the environmental hazards that I have right now are uh, presuming that you're not talking about like uh, sessile fauna flora like the giant jellyfish which technically isn't sessile but like the crustacean uh so there's the shock walls there's the proto daddy long legs there's the death pits i'm 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 gonna say that drowning in water would count because rain can be considered an environmental hazard i would say so um and then i need one more which worm grass i would count worm grass because they don't technically have a spawn point. They're just terrain. Mm, so it's not a creature? Uh, it is technically a creature if you consider it, but they don't spawn from dens like every other creature in the game. They're more similar to Proto Daddy Longlegs because they have to be added in the map editor. I believe. So I'm going to go with that. That's 
That's my answer. Could Death you... pits, shock walls, proto daddy long legs, rain, and warm grass. You are correct. Those are five of the ten environmental hazards that you can die to. These are the ones I considered environmental hazards of the ten. And right, so yeah, the cold, the cold, the void fluid, and the acid. Yeah. Oh yeah, this acid now. And and uh, and fall damage. Yeah. That's got the question correct with 800 points. And now it's Opsian's turn. Which, where are we going? Thank you, Steve. Uh, I'll take audio for 600. Audio for 600. Which creature makes this noise? I'll play it for stream as well. It's a scav. Was that your final answer? My nemesis. You are correct. It is the footsteps of scavengers. I like how that's the first thing I get. You you do I really know, like, I know that yeah. sound very well. <laughs> I know that sound very well. It it in the, it, it initiates a flight a fight or flight reaction. Yeah, I just <laughs> Alrighty. Scurry. How about food for four hundred? Food for four hundred. As survivor, what are the three foods that give two food pips when eaten? Okay, I know one for sure is uh the baby son of I'm trying to think about like everything you can eat because you can't really eat much. Yes. Wait, I, I can't. I shouldn't like. I'm gonna end up giving the answer easier if I don't get it. I need to like not talk as much. Uh, what, what's the time of it? <laughs> uh, after some amount of time, that is pretty arbitrarily. I can start a 30 second timer. Uh, I'm gonna guess noodle fly. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, so those plants, noodle flies, and baby centipede. Incorrect. North Floo for the steel? Okay, okay. I, I think I know, but I'm also not sure about the noodle flies. Uh, so I think baby noodle flies, baby centipedes, and gooey ducks. Final answer? Yes. That is indeed correct. It was, in fact, yes! gooey ducks. Yes! Gooey ducks? <laughs> yes. I really thought those were one. The, the little things that you have to pop before starting to eat. So yeah, I know what they are. I just I can't believe I. I'm going with gooey duck, really Steve. <laughs> I am now named Steve, apparently. Alrighty. North. Okay, so Why I did... just got some Give me a second. Why did free. that not. Oh. Food didn't uh, disappear. Okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, so I just got some points for free now, I think. So I think I should play it a little risky, I think. Uh, because thus far, the questions, I think they have not been very difficult. So I'm going to pick audio 1000. All right. Where does this track play? Oh, no. And I will not, because this is the harder version of this, I will not give you the name of the track. You have to describe the location where it plays, the room specifically. So even if you tell me the region, you have to be even more specific than that. Okay, I definitely know this track. Oh my god. Uh, and I think I know where it plays too. It, I, okay, I think it plays on top of pebbles on the expanse where Scav spawn is artificer. So uh, on top of pebbles, like where you can see the city in the background. I don't know what the room is called, but it's near the gate. Is that your final uh, answer? To, from five pebbles, yeah, from five pebbles as well. You are correct. It is indeed the rooftop of Five Pebbles, the city view. Yes! Yes! I'm taking this so seriously now. <laughs> but you, you can yep. get some points for uh, having a cute slot cap. Yeah. Is there points for that? <laughs> we'll tell you those at, at the very end. Right now, it's... If I eat, if I eat the other slug cat, do I get their points? Uh... This is a question I wasn't ready to answer. Uh, we'll, pin, <laughs> we'll put a, put a pin on that for now. Das. I see. Uh, I'm going to keep up my 800 trek and go for map 800. All right. Map 800. In Saints Campaign, what has Chimney Canopy been renamed into? Look at the little Saints. Two of them. Two of them. Mm. I Recall Ooh, it's. I think that like. <laughs> yeah, I think that okay. I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I think that solitary towers is it. Final answer. Yep. 
You are indeed correct. It is Solitary Towers. Money. It, it was between that and Sky Islands. I, I knew that Solitary Towers was the only one that I could like reasonably remember for 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 that, but it was either that or Sky Islands. All right, option. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I'm going to go for audio for 800. Audio for 800. Where does the, stack, the track Stoneheads play? Again, I will remind you that you it's not enough to tell me what region, you will have to specify me loosely where it actually plays. This plays in Subterranean, I think. I'm debating Subterranean or Farm Race in that area. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Subterranean. Any spe specifically, which room? You have it does. You can't just tell me what the I can't. Is. I can't remember the room. Uh, I'll keep listening to it. Those plays when you fall, when you do the the um, the giant pit that I thought was gonna kill me when I first went from Farmer Ray's. To sub. I accept that description as a final answer then? Mm, yes. I'll take that as a yes. That it is incorrect. Scurry for the steal? Damn it. I was trying to think this whole time because I knew I could steal and I couldn't think of it. I, I do feel like Subterranean is. And I know I've heard this like somewhat recently, but I can't remember. Like the farmer rays, like room with the. With Kata's that you have to jump over the those kind of like curved platforms. I know I what know. you're talking about. Is that or your final guess. answer? Yeah. Incorrect. North flow. <laughs> I have been exploding over here. Okay, this is actually my favorite soundtrack out of the uh like the Rain World album. <laughs> and I know where it plays, okay. Uh it's placing garbage waste. Uh it's like that area that's like on the top there's a scavenger hole there and i think a vulture spawn there as well and it's like near the kind of it's near the uh shoreline side basically i don't know how else i would describe it but it's um yeah it's near a scavenger hole it's like this really long room and it's near the shoreline entrance is i know what you're talking about is that your final answer yes I'll accept that description. It was very loosely, but it is near the fortress toll in garbage waste. You are yeah, indeed yeah. correct. I'm getting trounced by North right now. They <laughs> <laughs> gotta start choosing a thousand answers. I can never remember where songs play. That's like my worst thing. <laughs> That's my favorite. Thing. I think. I think my issue is that I avoid garbage waste like the plague. So of course I wouldn't know where any of the songs play. What? I love the garbage ways. Yeah, I love the scavengers. Go, I hate it. Uh, shoreline. <laughs> what do you take? I go. Th I go through shaded every time. I go oh, through I shaded. shaded. What? It's 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 faster. Shaded is so boring. Huh? <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's it boring, but it's it faster. Be... It's I'm true. Kill yeah, but like. <laughs> I, know, I, guess it's a... I also, prefer... you get scav reputation because you get a little bit of it every time you put a pearl through a toll. I prefer the shaded path as pearls. well. I'll be honest. It is faster. I only ever play artificer. It's okay. fast. Oh, okay, yeah, that no. makes that's, sense, yeah. That's fair. You're one of those insane types that uh, <laughs> plays, plays Artificer more than one time. I was heavily influenced... <laughs> Put lightly, yeah. I was heavily influenced by a Turtle Toad video back in the day where she mentioned that the Shaded Path was faster. And ever since then, I'm like, yep, the Shaded Path is faster. And so I go through Shaded. You can... You can get, you can go through all of Shaded and reach Shoreline and like still have a lot of time left in that cycle. Yeah. But it's not as fun. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing up my, my, my general dislike of, of Artificer into uh, no! what could be presumed to be hatred because like it makes good content. Like I don't actually yeah. mind Artificer that much, I, but like compared to every other slug cat, I just think that she's near the bottom. 
Uh, <laughs> but hey, if I play it up, oh yeah, then I... more people will react to it. Yeah. I kind of forgot. Are sitting to your location right now? <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I know where you live. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I kind of forgot to mention, but inv isn't real for any of these questions. Okay. Just to make, just to make sure. General. God. Yeah. In yeah. Inv lives in the parallel non-canon universe. Yeah. Only existing on tier lists and nowhere else. All right, scurry. So stuff like um... my turn. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> I just want to get some points. I'm gonna say uh, map for two hundred. All right, map for two hundred. What are the names of the subregions in the exterior? How far does that go? Okay, I know the wall and the underhang. I'm just trying to think if the leg is part of it. Uh, we'll add the leg to that. I think it's the same. Final answer? Yeah. Those three? Correct. Yeah. You got 200 points. points. <laughs> okay, I'll, go for a, I'll go for a crazy one next time because I just wanted points. <laughs> All right. Northflow, your turn. I actually didn't think about this at all. I wonder what's even in the slug cats uh, section of the questions because I just I don't know. Um, okay, let's. Hmm, I wonder if I could I should go for a difficult one again or if if I should start playing it safe now. Uh, let's go for slug cats eight hundred. Slug cats eight hundred. Which slug cats can find and deliver Moon's cloak? Okay. Uh... I know that Survivor and Monk can. Let's see. Oh, well, that's a really cute picture. Aww. Aww. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Survivor, Monk, but I think there's more. So this is interesting because I. Okay, wait. I I I, I, I like I don't want to give away too much of my reasoning just in case I get it wrong. <laughs> Uh, survivor, monk, but then there's two slug cats that I'm unsure about whether they can or not. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> why, why did I pick the difficult one? <laughs> Heck. Okay, I need to. I need to give an answer. Uh, let's go with survivor, monk, and hunter and gourmand. Those four are your final answer. Yes. Indeed, you are correct. Yes, okay. Okay, I wasn't sure about Hunter and Gourmand. I thought it might have been just one of them, but I didn't know which one. So, yeah, great. All right, the points are... This is really good. stressful. <laughs> You're winning, though. <laughs> By how many points? You are at 3,000. You're very much what? in the lead. Yeah. All right, Das. Uh, I'm going to go for trivia for 1,000. I need to pump up my points. All right, trivia for a thousand. Name five creatures oh. of the ten that are able to jump. Does that specifically mean uh, if 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 it's horizontal movement that can go upwards, does that count as jumping? Uh, depends on what you're thinking of. But I'll say, for instance, a jetfish flopping around or a grub wriggling isn't jumping. I would say that a jump is a creature's active decision to do so. That okay. is the best uh, clarification that I think I can give. Got it. So, uh, obvious answer is Yeeks. I'm going to go with Caramel Lizards as well. So that's uh, Caramel Lizards. That is... Okay. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah. So Caramel Lizards, Yeeks, those are two of them. Uh, I suppose strawberry lizards might count, uh, but that'll only be there if I can't think of anything else. Um, only the conscious desire to. I don't think that slug cats count. Something tells me. Um, technically, egg bugs can uh, can jump, but that's also technically their fear response. But it is literally a, a jump. So, uh, so I, I'll, I'll I'll say that as well. I don't think. Uh, oh yeah. Elite scabs as well. Um, so that's uh, caramel lizards, yeeks, elite scabs. Uh, I've forgotten uh, the other one that I said. Uh, big spiders do a leap towards you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that that counts. So that's five. Egg bugs, big spiders, caramel lizards, elite scavengers, and yeeks. That's, that's my answer. Final answer. 
Mm -hmm. Alrighty, you are indeed correct. Those are the ones I considered that they can in fact jump. Big money. I just saw a wolf and I was like, where's, what, what, what there are wolves in Rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> I think that I was, down for I think that I was unironically the one that popularized the name Wolf Spider, even though like it was told to me earlier. I heard nobody else say that until after my first Florifon I got popular. I'm taking that. I'm taking that alongside Grandpa Longlegs. I'm claiming that as my fault. <laughs> All right, Opsian. Which do you want to pick? Uh, I'm gonna go with food for a thousand. All right, food for a thousand. What are the ways that you can get more than one food pip from a single Spearmaster's spear stab? These creatures are limited. Uh, creatures or things are limited to the campaign only, and I'll clarify just so we don't get um, like this answer. Uh, if you hit like a bat fly. And then, like a creature, that would technically be more than a single food spirit. But I mean, you only hit a single thing. The, the popcorn plant and the egg bugs. Final answer. Yes. All right. You in fact did get it correct. I'm sorry, I wasn't clear. It is the egg bug and the popcorn plant. I cool. I didn't know it was egg bug. <laughs> I would never have thought it was egg bug. I thought it was like daddy long leg or something. I hurt things a lot. No, right. Yeah, no, because it's campaign specific, so you can't encounter firebugs. They also count. Yep. And technically, big jellyfish as well, but you can't encounter them as Spear Master. Can you not just, like, go to some more superstructure? Oh, right, yeah, because Moon's alive. Moon's alive. Uh, yep. <laughs> Let's just kill her again. <laughs> yeah. No. That was food Father, for us. I uh, need my food pips. <laughs> it's like, if you just play for, like, hours and hours, and eventually it'll fall. <laughs> Alright, Scurry, you got this. Pick one. Slug cats for a thousand. Slug cats for a thousand. Which slug cats have unique creatures exclusive to their campaigns? These creatures do not appear in any other campaign aside from these specific slug cats. You don't have to name the creatures, you just have to tell me which slug cats have unique creatures to their campaigns. Yeah. Okay, so. Saint's the obvious one. See, it used to be Hunter, but now it's like, I feel like they show up in like every other, every Hunter enemy shows up now in other campaigns. I think I'm going to say Gormund as well. I just feel like, like, and we're not including Inv. We're not including Inv. If, we're any, if everyone... I'm gonna have to say, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to have to say those two. If everyone agrees, I can tell you which of the number of slug cats are there. Uh, like, how many... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. sure. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's the, fine. Okay, I won't tell you the answer, obviously, but you're missing one. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, There's wait, a total of three. Which ones did you already answer? Gormand and Saint. Okay. There's a third one. I'll give you 30 seconds to be fair. I'm just, I, I know one, like, might count. I'm just trying to think if there's anyone I'm missing that's, like, obvious. Okay, I'm just gonna go with uh, Artificer as well. Just so your the, final uh, answer is Artificer, uh, Saint, and Gorman. You are correct. Yes. Is it because of the like boss fight uh, scabby? Yes. And Hunter, no, it's the oh Hunter Cancer. <laughs> Gorman is Hunter Longlegs. Artificer is King Scav, and Saint. Yes, I actually got it. And oh, Saint I'll is show another ones. I mean, I kind of got. Really sorry, so, did I say elite scav? I mentioned. I meant to say no. scavenger king. It's the king scav. Yeah. Yeah, the, the king, king scav. scav only I was appears. just reacting to uh to. I didn't realize that elite scavs spawned in other campaigns. They do. They, they do. do. Yeah. They spawn with spearmaster. I'm pretty sure. I think they're rare though. And hunter. I mean, they are rare. I've literally never hunter. seen them. Yeah, they're rare. I don't really like and something. if you get low reputation with scavs, the skill squads progressively get harder and scav kings oh, wow. come out. I well. love scavengers. Payday. I, uh, scav, not scav kings, whoops, sca it. elite scavs. <laughs> I imagine. Scavenger payday too. I thought it was elite really because of uh, the uh, the mother long legs, but I couldn't remember if mother long legs appear yeah. somewhere else. Appears in Spearmaster. I was thinking also Rivia because oh, of the, um, okay. like the smaller blue daddy long legs, but I think I actually looked that up before the stream, and those are just uh, brother long legs but recolored. Yeah. So I, I wasn't sure if they counted. 
All right, Scurry is now on the board with 1,200 points. I appreciate being told that there was three because I was like not sure if the party one would count because I knew like the elite scouts were in other ones. North. Okay, so I, I do not want to pick the map 1000 question because I'm not good at map questions, I don't think. I, no, 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 don't we're worry. We're all dreading no, that, not one. that one. Not that one, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I think no, pick I'm it, pick it, for... do it. No, I'm gonna go for food 800. All right, <laughs> food 800. Which three creatures get angry at you for eating something? Okay, so the noodle fly mothers, so the bird noodles, whatever you're calling them, those get angry if you eat their babies. Um, hum, 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 hum. <laughs> Who else, though? Ham, 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 Um, okay, so, wait. <laughs> I'm just like going through all the creatures in my head library. Uh, <laughs> don't even know if I know all of them. Are there any other creatures that have babies? I do not think so. Do scavengers get angry if you eat their... their to like, be completely others? clear, these creatures do not have a reputation to system attached to them. What this means, to be completely clear, is that, for instance, the noodle fly mother, which is pretty obvious one, if you if you eat a noodle fly mother and a mother is angry at you, if you go then run around and if you encounter another noodle fly mother, that noodle fly mother won't be angry at you. Okay. It's individual based. All right. So hmm, I'm wondering about the firebugs because I know that they get angry if you like take their their um, their eggs, but I don't know if that's eating. <laughs> what else can you eat? This is really difficult, actually. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> uh, the dust looks to the moon count. <laughs> I can't answer that. Oh, heck. Okay, I'm gonna... I, I think I'm gonna say um, looks to the moon. Uh, also, like, what counts as being angry? Because looks to the moon gets... <laughs> doesn't talk to you anymore if you eat her neurons. But also five pebbles. Uh, if in Rivulet's campaign you eat his neurons, he does like reprimand you for it. But I don't know if that counts as getting angry. <laughs> also, do iterators con count as creatures at all? I can't answer that. Ah oh, no. Okay. I can't think of anything else aside from those four, and I'm wondering which ones are like the right ones. So I'm gonna go for the noodle fly mother, <laughs> looks to the moon and five pebbles, and that's my final answer. Incorrect. That's for no. the steel. Uh, I know that the noodle fly mother does it. I know that the inspector does it. That's the one that that was missing. Um, okay. But the third one, I still, like, I'm thinking, because, so to clarify, is this specifically, like, is this last mystery creature a hostile entity that would kill you normally, but is, uh, is, but kills you harder if you eat something, or is it passive? So, like, obviously, it, you know? these creatures that get angry are neutral at first. Hmm. That's how all that's all. Is say. it exclusively eating or is it killing and eating? Um can you give me an example? Um best example I can think of is uh like squid codis, right? Reputation system. If you eat it Oh, right. Hey, I don't know they have a full reputation okay. Um jetfish are also reputation. Um I know that firebugs don't count because they only get angry if you hit them in the if you actually hit them with a spear or if they get hit with the spear and they go kill everything fuck the world mode mother spiders also don't count because they uh you there's nothing that you can eat that would anger them they only hunt, hunt you if you actually follow them for an extended period of time um thinking about the other ones uh scabs have a full reputation system uh garbage worms only get angry at you if you throw shit at their heads um uh snails don't get angry at you uh, is this ho is this hostile? Try to kill you? Oh, because okay, no. Th third answer: overseers, specifically Iggy. He gets angry at you if you eat Moon's neurons. I'm going with that. That's my last one. You are indeed correct. 
Iggy. Yeah, sorry, that was such a fucking so, cut. So, the, feed, uh, the feedback that I got oh, look was okay. looks to the moon, but uh, the feedback that I got was looks to the moon should count as Iggy as well. North Flowo only got it wrong because they didn't uh, remember the inspectors. Yeah, I didn't remember the inspectors, yeah. <laughs> Check. Sorry, I, I was a. Uh, this is. Like, I thought that I was so smart for getting Iggy specifically because like looks to the moon technically. Like I guess I'll change her behavior, but like I don't know if looks to the moon counts as a creature. But overseers are much more definably creatures that can be killed and drop things and can interact with you in a lot of different ways. And Iggy does specifically change his behavior. Yeah, uh, looks to the moon technically also does good. Angry at you because you know she stops communicating uh, at all. I was actually wasn't that sure about the five pebbles because I completely forgot that, that he does. You can he probably gets mad at you if he yeah, I don't actually know if on the any five. Yeah, I don't know if he he if he has any effect on. Does he even have neurons flying around uh, in the uh, river? He does, and there's like Not dialogue if you eat them. There are neurons flying around in the room sometimes, at least, because that happened to me a while ago. And I ate it in front of him and he was like, stop. <laughs> so as one would do if you ate their brain cells. But yeah, I don't know if that has any effect or if Five Pebbles' behavior changes at all, like based on if you like hit him with rocks or eat his neurons or something. Hmm. Right. And now, Das, it is your turn to pick. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go for uh, I'm I'm gonna sweep up that map 1,000. So right. I'm at a decent amount of spot to take risks. In which regions can you find the new echoes introduced in Downpour? Uh, exceedingly easy. Uh, there uh, that is that is uh, Metropolis, Undergrowth, and Bitter Airy. So submerged superstructure. Let me think for a little bit longer before I finalize my answer, though. Right, Shoreline 2. Shoreline 2. That's my answer. Four of them. Uh, Metropolis, Shoreline, Submerged Superstructure, also known as Bitter Airy, and Undergrowth. Final answer? Yep. Correct. You squeaked out Shoreline. Yep. I... That echo video, bitch. Mm. <laughs> I squeaked out Shoreline. I, I, for, I forgot about it until I, like, gave it an extra, like, nice old run over. Yep. The solid construct is an, uh, is noted there as an asterisk because it's technically not a new echo because it's like the wall echo falling down. So we didn't yeah, have yeah. to it's, know. It's it. still six grains. It's not a new echo. We assume it's six grains. It could also be the, the shaded echo. I don't know. I mean, no, because his his dialogue perfectly mirrors six grains dialogue. Alrighty. Opsion, your turn. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I want audio for 400. I am now Ryan. Which lizard species does this voice belong to? And I'll play the noise for the stream. I want to say that's the cyan lizard, but a lot of them sound like that. Is that your final answer? Yeah, sure. That is incorrect. Scurry for yeah. the steel. <laughs> Sounds like a lizard. Um, it has like that weird, it has like a weird zappy thing. I feel like that's not in all of them. I don't know. I'm going to say that's orange because I don't know. They have like that weird communication thing. Final answer. Yeah. You are indeed correct. It is the orange yes. lizard. Oops. Is that actually why? Like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it is the effect that they put into the voice. So I assume it's like their transmitters uh, static yeah. or, or whatever. Maybe, but it is the correct answer. It is the orange slash yellow lizard, whatever you prefer to call them. I felt like that sound was weird, like that wasn't in all of them. Uh, <laughs> each lizard has a unique voice, so... As you... a downpour. It's amazing. Yep. Uh, That's cool. And we're still okay. Scurry, go ahead and pick. Uh, Slugcats for 600. Slugcats for 600. Which Slugcats start their campaign already being able to understand the echoes? I know Fear Master, or Thane. I don't think it's Hunter. I'm pretty sure you still have to go to Pebble. Saint, you need to. And like, I'm, I'm thinking of... There's one I'm unsure of. I forget how it works. I know those ones aren't. I feel like I know for sure that like two of them 
Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna say Saint, um, Spear Master, Artificer. Final answer? Yeah. Incorrect, unfortunately. North Floo for the steel? I think I know. Uh, I think it's Hunter, Saint, and Reveal It, because Hunter and Reveal It have the mark of communication from the start, so they can understand Echoes. And Saint just is special, I guess. And I don't think anybody else can, so that's my final answer. You are correct. It is indeed Hunter, Rivulet, and Saint. Phew. <laughs> Hunter and Rivulet do, do, do indeed start with Mark Communication. And I thought Saint also started with Mark of Communication, but turns think out. So. I think Saint no, they don't. Them. Yeah, they just he, are weird he like that. He doesn't get the. Uh, he he yeah. doesn't get the floating square, so he just he just he's just very he's just special. He's got the he's he's got the proper brain juice he just learned it he he popped open a dictionary Same. he's bilingual yeah. <laughs> All right. he speaks wawa language as well wow Same. has right. been working out at the library <laughs> i can't believe it <laughs> where do you work out at the library that one mean the library <laughs> the library north it is your turn okay so so the thing is that I really just like the audio questions, which is why I would like to take that one, but I don't I don't think it's the smart thing to do here. I think I should be taking one of the 600 points. So um, let's go for... Hmm. So trivia can be just anything, right? Correct. Okay. I'm kind of scared of those questions, and I'm super scared of the map questions, because I just... I'm not good at the map. I get lost all the time. So... Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with Trivia 600. Alright, Trivia 600. What are the five unique spear types? Okay, so there's Normal Spear, which is just a standard spear. Then there's Spear Master Spear, which is like white and gross. <laughs> and then there's Explosive Spears, uh, the ones that scavengers make. Then there's Electric Spears, uh, which are the ones that scavengers also make that are uh, more common in Artificer's campaign. And then lastly, I think the Firebox Spears count as Spears, so, so that's the fifth one. Final answer? Yeah. Indeed, you are correct. Yay. I, did, I, did, I, did, I didn't know if the needles counted, so if it went over to me and counted that, I would have said the Discharge Electric Spears, and technically they function differently. <laughs> they the same but they're item. literally called the Spear Master, though. <laughs> So the funny thing about that is, yeah, is that Sphere Master the exact same. No, Sphere Master it's does have a different function than regular spears. If there if a spear is stuck to an electric coil, a regular one, and you grab it, you get zapped. Right, yeah. But if it's Sphere Masters, you don't because it's organic. It doesn't conduct electricity as well, I guess. You don't get zapped if you hold on to them. Which is interesting. All right, let me just check something. Uh, yep, and it's Das's turn. I'll take food for 600. All right, food for 600. Which three creatures prey on butterflies? Uh, jetfish and squid cotta are the easy answers. Um, I'm going to say jetfish, squid cotta, and leeches. Is that your final answer? Wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, no, sorry. Leeches don't hunt them, but they do have a fear response towards leeches. Uh... Whole plants will occasionally hunt them. Technically, monster kelp will as well. I think that monster kelp is easier because they will actively hunt them. So squid cut is jetfish and monster kelp. Incorrect. Obsidian for okay. the steel. That's, that's fucking tough. Pull up the that was. Mm. <laughs> Are there more than I'm three? Dead, I, I I'm want to. I want to see what the last answer is because that is. Act mm. The <laughs> jetfish, squid cat, and slug cats. Is that your final answer? Perhaps. I'll take that as a yes. You are indeed correct. Strawberry lizards could have also been so, as they specifically Sport cats count. Wait, hold on. Sorry, what was the? Was it actively hunt? Because monster kelp will actively hunt them. They will lunge towards them. I don't believe that is the case. They tend to ignore. Uh, I bad think monster Am I allowed to pull up the wiki to prove me wrong? Am I allowed to pull up the wiki? You are allowed to pull up the wiki to prove me wrong. Go ahead. Okay. Must. Monster kelp follow around bat flies, but they don't ever pull them into their dens. Really? I don't think they even, yeah. if I remember correctly, they don't even react to bat flies. They do, they do definitely react. They do? They yeah, look they them, they follow them around, around, but yeah, they don't pull them into their dens. Yeah. Ha! Ha! 
sorry. This is uh, this is in the trivia section of the Batfly article. Does it say that they get hunted by? Uh, most creatures in the game ignore them. However, squid cutters, jetfish, pole plants, monster kelp, and leeches actively hunt them. They can be eaten by strawberry lizards, making them relatively easy to tame by feeding the batflies. Yeah. Slug pups also count. I keep forgetting that slug cats count as creatures. Mm. Wait, how do you guys want to do this then? Because I suppose that would be correct. Uh, I suppose that infant centipedes can also them, but they only kill them. They don't actually eat them. Yeah. They just kill them. Yeah, centipedes are just kind of weird. I mean. Yeah, I mean centipedes don't eat anything. It makes it very difficult to yeah. write about them as functional creatures. Yeah, they just creatures. kill. Das, would it be uh, okay if both of you got the points? I wouldn't mind. That's entirely fair. We're both technically right. Option. I keep forgetting my push is on. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with food for 600. Food for 600. Oh, sorry. That was the one we just did. Oh, wait. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I it can didn't... answer that. Uh, did... <laughs> <laughs> I'll My take bad. another 600 points. Uh, there's map for 600, uh, if you want another 600. Yeah, sure. Map for 600. All right. Map for 600. What are the two ways that you can cross through a karma gate without interacting with the karma system? To be completely clear, you could have no karma and you would be able to cross through this karma gate. To be honest, I didn't even know you could do that. Uh-oh. Hey, Scurry, do you want this? I have no idea what the hell this means. Uh, want this? I don't want it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what to answer. I didn't even know you could do that. What okay. counts as interacting with the karma system? Yeah, like, what do you mean? Like, do... Like, when you mean not interacting with the karma system, do so, you mean, like... So, like, can you elaborate, please? I will elaborate. So, for instance, if you were to have no karma so let's say at saint's ending you know how he even goes below karma one and he has like the nothing karma even if you were to have that karma it doesn't matter what karma you have uh even if you had no karma you would be able to cross through those karma systems those karma gates does i feel like this is a question that's going to shoot me in the foot but i'm ahead enough to ask this so uh uh, does does Fortificers like uh, like scavs count? Because technically you could have zero karma because they just add their karma on top of your karma. Or does that still count? Right does scav does holding a scav count? Yes, you're in, you're in actively increasing your karma. You're playing with the karma system. So Got that it, okay. it, so that's that's not an answer. So that's not that's an not answer. answer. Oh frick! What the hell? Do dev tools count? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I could give, if, if everyone is stumped, I could give a hand. Is everyone okay I with think, that? I have a guess. Oh, you, you do? Yes, for the, for I, the two ways? I also ways? have a guess, though. I don't, I don't want, I don't want okay, to Okay, okay. So, so I won't give any hands. Option, would you like count. to shoot your shot? I, I don't even have, like, a guess. Alright, do you want me to move? It's probably something to do with Saint, but I don't know. Alright, I'll, I'll yeah, hop Yeah, you could pat, uh, pat pass. Alright, scurry. Okay, so I don't know if it counts as a karma gate, but here's my guess: is the uh, the gates into like the city? You get the key instead. Maybe that counts. And my other guess was um, the monk gates, where they like stay open after, and you can just go through. Is that your final answer? Yeah. You are indeed correct. Yes. I didn't remember the <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. No. If it somehow wrapped all the way around to me, that was gonna be my fucking answer. So. Monk has a gate system? <laughs> yes. Just go through a gate. If, you go, if you go through a gate once, that gate's permanently unlocked for Monk. Yep. Oh, so no matter what I've never awesome played monk, monk, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Oh really? Wow. I yeah. never played Monk. I, I I didn't I didn't like easy mode. I went to Survivor immediately. Well I I played all of them. Just, it's I played, just monk mode. It's friend yeah, mode. It's friend mode. I don't want friend Banana mode. Boy. You don't want friends? Nice. Scurry, that was, no, that was a good one. I want one. you to look at my slug cat and ask if I want friends. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, Scurry, you're on a roll. What's your next question? Uh, well, I can't win, <laughs> I don't think. But I can go for third place. It, um, it do be like that sometime. H2 has felt the same. <laughs> I'm gonna say slug cats for 400. Slug cats for 400. Which slug cat cannot meet looks to the moon in their campaign? Oh, that's artificing. 
final answer? Yeah. Correct. It is indeed Artificer. Artificer is the only stock cat that cannot meet Moon. Because Inv doesn't points. exist. Because Inv doesn't exist. You can technically go to... The, the like, you can... The two milfs can't meet, rip. You technically can go and meet Moon as Inv, right? Uh, it's, she's just oh. dead, isn't it? In isn't she? No, isn't they... Wait, really? <laughs> I did that, actually. I thought the entrance was You can Not that I played Inv, so... <laughs> If what I remember correctly, you can see her as M. She's just a corpse. Right, yeah, that's... Really? But either way, Inv does, isn't real, so... <laughs> Inv isn't real. Inv can't, Inv can't hurt us. Alright, North. What are you picking? Ah, okay, let's go for... Uh... I'm still really scared of the map questions. Let's go for Trivia 400. Trivia 400. Which three regions do grapple worms spawn in? Take <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, uh, I know that they they spawn in um uh, like wait, where's it called? Wow, my my is blank again. Wait, wait, no, I know this. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what is the region that consists of the underhang wall and the leg? What is it even called? <laughs> it's it's the exterior. Uh, exterior. Yeah, yeah. It's the exterior. Oh, okay, okay. I was confusing exterior and superstructure, and I was panicking. Okay, so so exterior and uh, metropolis has some. I know that for sure. Exterior metropolis and uh, what's the third one? <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm not sure. I need to think about this. I'm pretty sure they don't spawn in outer expanse. And they also don't spawn in submerged superstructure, so what does that leave me with? I don't think this would be a hard question for me. I'm very, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what is the third one? I know that they don't spawn in outskirts, and they don't spawn in farm arrays, and they don't spawn in industrial. I'm making this so easy for the next one. <laughs> and then. Like I don't already know the answer? <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. Alright, 30 seconds. I feel like seconds. this should be an easy question, but it's not. Uh, oh god. What other regions even are there? Pipeyard doesn't have any, I don't think. 20 seconds? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Chimney can Canopy doesn't have any either. Oh my god. Five wait, seconds. Wait, wait, underground, underground. I think I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, no, no. That doesn't make any sense because Saint would beat them. All right. What's your final okay. answer? My final answer is Metropolis, Exterior, and the Struts. <laughs> like looks the moon, you know. Incorrect. So, no. That's <laughs> with the steel. <laughs> it's chimney canopy. That's 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 the last what? one. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah. My sorry. What? This is in my first region They're tier only list. In, in one my room. first region yep. tier list. <laughs> I put I put underhand kind of low <laughs> because you. I thought that you couldn't get a grapple worm in chimney. You can. I got fifty five fucking comments <laughs> telling me that. I will never forget. Wait, I saw that video. I saw your misinformation. That's not fair. <laughs> Me when I spread misinformation on the internet. <laughs> Where are they then? It's like down in. They're one in room. one room. They're they're in one particular hole. room in all of Chimney Canopy. You know the garbage worms. So if you go head straight right, as you so you leave. Uh, you go from industrial to chimney, and then you head straight right, all the way to the right, where there's a scav stash with the uh, grapple, uh, not the grapple worms, the garbage worms. You know that room? Yeah. So if you go up from there, and then you make the room transition and go right, that next room, there's the grapple worms in. They're like a bit further below oh, off screen. Right yeah. No. Okay. Fair. And then it's... I mean, the, there's like two of them, and they're super <laughs> hidden. Yep, like, they are. I didn't know it until I got <laughs> lambasted in my comments. Wow. About it's okay, man. One. I still at, I still have people in my comments telling me what the hunter long leg is, and it's been like three months. <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't know there were grapples in Metropolis, actually. Yeah, they're all over Metropolis. Yeah. Because so they wanted... Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> but that is only really relevant for Expedition, in which you can randomly spawn there. Fun fact, the Echo there actually in also has a, has custom dialogue if you show up to someone other than Artificer, but only really? an Expedition. It's neat. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. certainly wish I knew that before I made my Echo reading video and I mentioned how cool it would be if it had extra dialogue and then I got 40 comments so <laughs> it <had> extra dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get the engagement. It's, it's how I get the engagement. I just need to be wrong about things. That's so like half, half of... Like, my comments have won me Yeah. what is likely going to be two trivia shows in a row just by yelling at me in the comments. <laughs> we'll uh, see, we'll see people about are more that. Likely to, yeah, we'll see. People are we'll more see. likely to answer you if you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, that's... Therefore, be purposefully wrong about things and then they'll give you the right uh, answer. I'm gonna go for uh, Trivia 200 because I feel like it. All right. When was Rain World first released? Uh, it, do I need the specific day or just the year? Uh, whatever you feel like. Smile. Um, <laughs> was there like a, like a, like a demo beforehand? If there was a demo, would that count? Full release. Full release, 2017. Indeed, you are correct. You should have made it have to be the day. Yeah, no, the day I wouldn't have gotten, which would have been I think. The yeah, that would have been really mean, I feel. Did you know the day, Scurry? No. no. <laughs> Do you know the exact time that it was released publicly? You know, it actually came out January 69th. Uh, no, 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 that, that isn't Rain birthday. World's release, that's Upsuck's release. Yeah, yeah, that's the Upsuck release date. It's where my vast team of modders is going to release it. All right, Opsion, it's your turn. I'm taking map for... For 400? Map, 400, yes. All I, right. My fucking thing didn't click. That's fine. Which pipe do garbage waste? That was a funny question. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all left the easy questions for the end. How anticlimactic. <laughs> you do this to me. Wait, no, you're struggling. I don't... No, okay. <laughs> Why are the easy questions the hardest questions? This is hard? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> give, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, you, I you believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. I don't feel like I go this way. It's the left, and then you go up. So it would be... Right. So which number of pipe? You just have to tell me which pipe you take. Number one, two, three, or four. They're numbered. I'm stupid. I didn't even see the numbers. <laughs> it's one. Final answer? At least, at least that's the way I always go, yeah. Correct. That is the correct way. Delightful. You can notice that Riv has now moved into the pipe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. He's more like sniffing it. <laughs> no, yeah. he's, just, he's showing his face right and he's like, is this expired? Okay. Alright, let's hurry. Hmm. hmm, where does this go? <laughs> Garbage waste. <laughs> um, I was like shit. <laughs> Whoa! I'm having the most luck with slug cats, so I'll just go slug cats again. All right. Which slug cats have a crafting system? Um, Artie and Gorman. Final just give me a second. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. If there's any more? No, I really think it's just those two. So it's your final answer. Yeah. You are indeed correct. Yeah. I had a really I was very worried <laughs> there was going to be like a third answer was like, well technically, if you're playing hunter, you can see? mix the cloak. No, the see seed. the thing is what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, see this Does th having wet hands count. See right? exactly! <laughs> Opsion! That's what I was uh, it was a funny argument that I had with my friend. I was like, wait. Does Riv's wet hands count? Because tech but no, we, we <laughs> no. technically North. I would just first of all like to expose myself that I didn't know the answer to the previous question. I would have thought it was just Gourmand because I'm dumb. Uh, anyways, uh, now I can finally get the audio question. I want the audio question. You want the audio question. Where does the track Lovely Arps play? And I'll send it to you right now. 
if I don't know this one, I'm gonna feel kind of silly. Why? So genuinely, the easier questions have been harder for me. <laughs> how does it? How is this always the case? Even in the previous trivia show, like the 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 easy questions that I thought were easy also uh, weren't as easy as I thought. Is this? this it's because we overthink everything. Movies, but but you guys blaze through the hard questions. <laughs> I mean, because it's more niche knowledge, so you remember it easier. Oh, but like, it's I like... Know where this How specific do I have to be? You have to tell me the general gist of where the room okay, that it so triggers. It's, it's like in the first few rooms of Sky Islands when you enter from Chimney Canopy. Final answer? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, now I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You are correct. <laughs> All right. Uh, since it was um, an uneven amount of uh, questions, I suppose everyone will answer the, the last food question. Um, just for the fun. Just for fun. Just for the fun of it. All right. <laughs> what centipede species can survivor eat? What? Well, it is all of them. It was more, it's posed more or less as a trick question because Survivor can indeed eat all of them. So, I, sure and I believe that, that any slug cat besides like Spearmaster and Saint, Spearmaster because he got no mouth, and Saint because he, uh, he uh, goes into catatonic shock when he touches non artificial leather. Um, it's, can you get, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, just, sorry. you know. S centipedes are the only creature that uh, can be eaten by basically any slug cat, including, like, I think, Rivulet can do it too, but I might be wrong. I think so, yes. That specific yeah. insect. I think it's animal. only Saint uh, that can't. I think that Saint literally dies get... if he tries to eat a red centipede. What's that up, dies. Upson? Can you get aquapedes as survivor? Um, Aren't they like in submerged superstructure? Yeah, th uh, I think so. If you go down to some restoration, there'd be a few. I mean, even so, it doesn't mean that just because okay. they don't spawn doesn't mean that you can't eat them. You can always spawn them in arena and eat them. Yep, that's fair. Uh, were you Obsidian? Were you intent? Were you? Was your answer intending to be like all of them, and you only limited yourself to the ones that you think spawn? Yeah, I thought it was campaign based. I'm sorry. I could give you the 200 points. <laughs> There's no big. Okay. Wait, we still get points for this? <laughs> yeah, I gave everyone points except uh scurry didn't include the reds, water i wasn't centipede. sure about reds i thought maybe they're too big or something <laughs> yeah Alrighty, and that is all of the questions done and dusted and now we can see who the winner is and it is indeed again uh dust zombies dust zombies is the winner gg Right. GG. Let's go to the <laughs> GG. All right, Das, you are the s <laughs> you are the second win. You win again for the second time. Um, if there is ever a third one, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll I'll make you the sandbag third time. Uh, I'll I'll read out some words if. If you don't mind, uh, I have a holy book here. I'm here to read out a sermon. Yes, the um, winner's speech. Oh Go God. ahead. In the dark night, a thousand years ago, he came down from the heavens, wreathed in a fiery light. His name was Andrew. He brought with him a holy emissary, and with his words, voice like the ocean flowing over open rocks, he said, Watch Iterator Logs. There you go. Wow. Dipper <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Alright. That was good, I think. I'll You're you're walking on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> walking on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh Northflow for the second place speech. What? We have to do a speech? <laughs> yes. It can be anything uh, you want. It, it it can be funny. It doesn't really matter. Just I'm go for it. I'm sure Daz deserved the win. I say through gritted teeth because I didn't know all the answers to everything, and I'm so pissed about that. <laughs> uh, watch my artificial animation, please. Anyways, yeah, that's all. That's all I got. It is a really good animation. I must say. Thank you. 
In fact, you should watch all of North Flow's videos, even the non-Rain World ones. Such as the rats Come on, video. I'm trying to be angry here about... <laughs> <laughs> Don't promote me. Such as the oh, rat... I'm on the pistol. <laughs> the rats video. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come to haunt me, Alright, since it's the closest one. Scurry. Third place, you're tied for third place with Opsian. What's your winner speech? Uh we see I said I was gonna get last and I did, but at least I didn't get last alone. And <laughs> I actually got some I got a, some hard questions, so I'm proud of myself. You really did. I'm s I feel like the one that you got that was like the hardest one was probably the Karma Gate one. Which was yeah, really I good. Actually, I was gonna say Originally, I was thinking the scabbies in Artie, but then he said it wasn't, it didn't count. So I'm like, I was trying to think of other ways, and I'm like, I guess maybe the city gate. So yeah, I did better than I thought, and it's fun. I'm glad that you had fun because that's what ultimately matters. Because you win nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Last but definitely not least, Opsian, give us some words. I honestly, uh. I didn't expect to win anyway, I'm just glad to be a part of this and that I am considered like a functional Rain World YouTuber somehow, even though I started off just making memes. But I had fun, and I know surprisingly more than I thought I did. Yeah, you, you popped off on some hard questions, and I mean like your personality is great. I know. <laughs> Point thank you for inviting me to this. Thank you for inviting me to this cold, dark room. I will now vanish back into the shadows where I belong. It's fine, chat. I don't need bonus points. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Before you bring know, one bonus point for the skug. Yeah, That's before important. I, before no, before we end, before we end, I'm gonna make a poll, a real quick poll. Zobies. You uh, you drew these, right, Sigma? Yes. Yeah, so you get like half the credit, I think. Yeah, you did a good job with them. Thank you. The poll is up. I'll leave it up for uh, a minute or two. They are all very cute. Thank you. I'm getting fucking crushed out here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, you and your poopy think... colored rivulet. Yeah, it may not be the best colors, but I really like the like. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, sh I should go to a screen where all of you sh uh, are there. Uh, there. Actually, you know what? Let's go to this one. That's the better one. Mine is just edgier artificer. I like how Das's is just like stretching the arms out. <laughs> That's just Sweet the official cat. colors that I use for all my jelly co-op shenanigans. Because Rivulet is the most fun slug cat. Seaweed cat. It does remind me of like Trubbish though. Like the Pokemon. It's just and Trubbish is great! Oh, good That's does. part of the good reason! Because no, it's Trubbish not. is fucking yeah. great! He's no, the only not. thing that can beat revive cats! With the sticky hold with sticky hold refresh lepaberry just get a gastrodon right? it's the exact same thing but better in a water type all right except hear me out it can't be revive cats so it doesn't have a niche i don't know what the hell I mean, that the... means yeah i'm talking about <laughs> pokemon now get fucked <laughs> good i've been yeah man that's <laughs> you're you're you're, you're getting demolished i'm sorry to say I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting murdered in the QRTs. Right. I'm getting fucking destroyed. <laughs> I'll say it here for the purposes of the edited version. Scurry won this poll of the favorite uh, little drawn slug cat with 38%. Uh, North with 26, Obsidian with 21, and Das with 16%. That is the poll with 300 votes. <laughs> can't believe I lost this. I can't believe I lost the contest that matters. All right. The, the real winner here. All right, th this is the real bye now. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.